Here we are. <sighs> now we get serious again. Ugh. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Okay. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after. You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? I never wanted to come back here. Yeah. That makes two of us. The pearl of a runlet that never ceases. With a hollow, boiling voice it speaks and has spoken since hills were turfless peaks. Hey, graves are back that way. What, I can't look at the scenery? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Play. I want to find my mother's grave. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Ben, short and simple. I like it. Come on. There's only a handful left. Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while his face pops up. It's super weird. Where are you going? I was going to go that way. I'm going over here. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't <laughs> mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. 
<laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex. Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at. Even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <laughs> if you need a new, new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Uh, so we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? You serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. And they do infrared, so I see everything. Uh, <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um... Up. The sooner this is all over, the better. So far, it seems like everyone in town's got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. <laughs> Not sure I want to taste your food anymore. Afraid you'll learn something about yourself you don't want to know? Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Not sure if I should try to pronounce this. Man, I'm so rusty. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. Talk to Michael then. Michael. Talk to Join. How's it going? Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? 
Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Okay. What does it say on your uncle's grave? Um, it says William Thomas Collins. Kidding. That's his clinket name. Sukakanik. It means being trained and taught. His folks were dead on the money with that one. One of a handful of old dogs who could still learn new tricks. Ah. I'll, uh, leave. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. <sighs> On second thought, thought, never mind. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. I thought A was leave, but it's B. Talk to you later. You bet. This might take a while. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. See you, Michael. Guess again. familiar. Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blast the horn for us. Not this one. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time. You really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going! <laughs> Allison, come back! <sighs> oh. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. Uh, 
I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Mm. Mm -mm. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna... I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Come no. see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. We'll see each other soon, then. Stop crying, silly. We have to go, kid. God, I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I, I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. I Water under the bridge. She's sneezing. Why is she sneezing? Stop sneezing. Let's, uh, let's go over here because she's over there. <laughs> you think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Rest in peace, Snowball. Mm. This spot's familiar. <sighs> Man, I forgot how hard Marianne took it when Ground's mom died. Well, we were only four. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's... you know? It definitely didn't help, but... no. It was years later. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see, what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe?
when we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Yeah. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. I could have talked to... That was something, huh? Alice. Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. 
<laughs> Jesus you stuff. You want to sit down for a bit? Yes. Come on. Sit. Sit. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree, and your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. <laughs>